Hi, welcome to another video. So today is 6th of March 2018. I wanted to discuss some of the benefits of using Microelectronica's Visual TFT. Now one benefit, which is immediately in front of you, you can simply import any picture you want, convert it to a bitmap or a JPEG, import it to Visual TFT and it creates the bitmap and you can either load it onto an SD card or load it into data and store it in memory. Here's 22 more good reasons. Let me clear this. 22 more reasons. You can simply create whatever display you like. So it gives you functions for square buttons, round buttons, different colors. Now this took I don't know, roughly an hour to create and using the code that I also demonstrated a few years ago using the XPT2046 controller, using Visual TFT and the XPT controller code, you can make your own touch screen. So that's another 22 good reasons. I'll click over here. Here are another 39 good reasons. <laughs> A keyboard. So let me uh, come out of that. Turn the clock off. So let me just demonstrate, in fact, I'll come out of here. So this clock's been running for a few hours. Let me turn it off. And you'll see when I last programmed it. Well, 13.29 is when this was last programmed. So that time's obviously wrong. The time now is 17.05. In fact, I'll use Microelectronica's stylus. So 17.05, so set hour 17. And then minutes 0. Five. There's a five. So enter the time. Digital clock. Let me do that again because the time just wrote over the picture. There is 17:05, and I can do the same for day date. That sort of stuff. So I want the title up here. Turn the clock off. Go next for the next screen. Be better if I hold it. Title J B's Color Clock. There we are, JB's colour clock. So that's just one example what you can do with text. If I come out of there again, clock off. One of my other projects. So if I go analog, that's another project I created a while ago. So just touch of a keyboard or touch of a screen got different programs. I've yet to put my Wi-Fi program on there, my GPS to pick up the time, that sort of stuff, and the weather forecast, but I can do all that. So that second hand just flicked around because I'd set it to analog. It got through the rest of the minute and then set itself. In case you're wondering, that minute hand doesn't jump periodically. So analog clock, now because this is on a timer interrupt, you have to hold the buttons for longer, turn it off, go back to digital. So I don't want that title anymore. Go to title and just set that escape. Now I can obviously, oh, it's still got a K there. Don't know why. Title. Oh, 
Not sure why that K was still there. But so I can clear the title. What I haven't done yet, I can go in and change the font color and move the position and all that sort of stuff, but you get the general idea. So the other reason for this video is, look what crept under the radar. This is Microchip's PIC32 2048 EFH144. So this microcontroller is the PIC32 2048 ECH144. So what's the difference, I hear you ask? That one's 200 megahertz. What's this one? Let me type it in here. So using microelectronica's string function, or title, E, F, H, chip. Set that, come out of there. What's the difference? That's the difference. <laughs> this little beauty that crept under the radar is run, yeah, runs at 252 megahertz. I've not seen it advertised. Your faster chip, 252 megs. Standard one is 200. The MX microcontrollers were 80. Then they went to the MZ at 200. But this 252 megahertz came out and no one's advertised the fact. Why? <laughs> So if you want to get your hands on the latest, fastest hardware for microchip and microelectronica, get onto the debug store and put the address on the screen or microe.com. Thank you for watching.